Residing in New York City, Dr. Anna Fox, a child psychologist, grapples with agoraphobia and shares her home solely with her cat, Punch. She maintains communication with her estranged husband, Ed, and their daughter, Olivia. On a weekly basis, Dr. Carl Landy, her psychiatrist, pays her visits, recognizing Anna's tendency to observe her neighbors out of sheer boredom. Although cautioned against the combination, she continues to mix various medications with wine, a habit she defends when questioned. On the opposite side of the street, the Russells, a new family, have recently taken residence. Ethan, their teenage son, pays a visit to Anna, presenting her with a candle from his mother. During their conversation inside Anna's home, Ethan mentions that he can spot his father, Alistair, from her window. Observing a moment of emotion, Ethan appears to tear up, prompting Anna to express a willingness to be friends. Before he heads back home, Anna kindly lends him some movies. Anna has a tenant, David Winter, Wyatt Russell, who lives downstairs in the basement. He occasionally offers to help with things, like the skylight that is molding and bound to break soon. On Halloween night, Anna's house becomes the target of mischievous neighborhood kids who throw eggs. Attempting to intervene, Anna opens her front door but faints before making it outside. Upon regaining consciousness, she discovers a woman from across the street, played by Julianne Moore, helping her up. Assuming it's Jane Russell, Ethan's mother, they engage in a conversation over wine. Jane expresses her deep concern for Ethan and even leaves Anna with a drawing she created. Later, Alistair inquires if any of his family visited Anna that night, but she denies it. The following day, Anna discovers that David has been assisting Alistair with household tasks. During the evening, a scream emanates from the Russell residence, prompting Anna to alert the police. Witnessing what appears to be Alistair mistreating Ethan, Anna calls for help and Ethan seeks solace in her home. Concerned, Anna checks on David, who has a woman crying in his room, but he vehemently denies hearing any screams. Throughout the entire next day, Anna seems to be experiencing delusions. Her focus remains on monitoring the Russell residence until she witnesses what appears to be Jane getting stabbed in the stomach. Anna makes an effort to leave her house to offer assistance, but loses consciousness once again. Detectives Little and Norelli find her and bring her inside. Anna recounts the situation, only to be confronted by Alistair and another woman claiming to be Jane. Ethan also arrives, refuting Anna's assertion that she has met his mother. Anna initiates an investigation into the Russells and uncovers that Alistair previously held a position at a Boston firm but departed following the mysterious death of his assistant, Pamela Nazan. In an attempt to gather more information, Anna makes an anonymous call to the firm but disconnects before revealing her identity. While exploring downstairs, she overhears something and decides to check David's mail. David catches her in the act and confronts her with frustration. During the confrontation, he discloses that he served time in jail for a bar fight and is technically violating his parole by being present since he is supposed to be in Massachusetts. Persisting in her surveillance of the Russells, Anna attracts the attention of Jane too, who warns Anna of potential police involvement. During another visit from Ethan, Alistair follows and physically assaults Ethan in Anna's presence. He sternly instructs Anna to cease interfering in his family's affairs. Following the receipt of an anonymous email featuring a photo of her asleep, Anna suspects David's involvement. However, upon involving detectives Little and Norelli again, David asserts he was away with a woman whose confirmation is obtained by the detectives. Despite Anna presenting the drawing left by Jane One, the Russells confront her once more. The situation reaches a climax when Anna references her family, leading Norelli to assert that her family is deceased. Norelli suggests that Anna has been hallucinating her conversations with Ed and Olivia, raising doubts about her perceptions of events involving the Russells. In a flashback, Anna is behind the wheel with Ed and Olivia on a snowy night. Tension fills the car as unresolved issues from Anna's affair strain their relationship, prompting Ed to express a desire to stop pretending for Olivia's sake. The phone rings, sparking a heated struggle between the couple. 
As Anna reaches to answer it, her attention diverts from the road, causing the car to veer off a hill and crash, resulting in the tragic deaths of Ed and Olivia. Confronting her delusions, Anna eventually accepts the reality of the devastating event and extends heartfelt apologies to all those affected. Anna prepares a last will and testament video, contemplating suicide by adding pill powder to her wine. While looking at a photo of her cat Punch, she notices Jane One's reflection in the wine glass. Sharing the image with David, he confirms that Jane One's real name was Katie Melly and that she was indeed Ethan's birth mother. Katie struggled with addiction and gave up Ethan, but later attempted to reclaim him, despite Alistair's efforts to keep them apart. Anna urges David to testify to the detectives, but he refuses. When David goes to answer a knock at the door, a thud and grunt are heard. Ethan enters, brandishing a bloody knife, revealing himself as the perpetrator. He confesses to the murders of Katie and Pamela, driven by a twisted compulsion. Ethan discloses that he has been in Anna's house throughout the week with her key, explaining the scent photo. Expressing a morbid desire to witness Anna's suicide, Ethan is caught off guard as Anna ingeniously tricks him, smashing a wine bottle over his head and turning the tables on the dangerous confrontation. In pursuit of Anna, Ethan chases her outdoors. David attempts to impede Ethan's progress but tragically succumbs to a fatal stabbing. On the roof, Ethan relentlessly stalks Anna, ultimately managing to injure her face with a small rake during their intense confrontation. The struggle continues until Anna successfully propels Ethan through the decaying skylight, causing it to shatter easily and leading to Ethan's fatal plunge. Upon regaining consciousness in the hospital, Anna finds Detective Little in her room. He informs her that Alistair and Jane are now in custody, with Jane providing crucial information that validates Anna's claims. The detectives owe her an apology for doubting her. Additionally, they have successfully located Katie's body. Detective Little acknowledges that he has seen Anna's video, but hands her the phone, allowing her time to delete it before it becomes part of the evidence collection. After nine months, Anna bids farewell to her apartment, accompanied by Punch. She takes a moment to say her goodbyes to the memories of Ed and Olivia, marking the end of that chapter in her life as she embraces a new beginning.